Okay, so we have a problem here. Annabelle takes a puzzle book on holiday. She attempts it every day. Probability of successfully solving is 0.7. She goes on holiday for four weeks. We want to find the expected value and the standard deviation of the successfully solved puzzles in a given week. Okay, so we have to go through our conditions, and I know it's success failure because she solves it or not. This probability is consistent from week to puzzle to puzzle. And there's one week, so that's seven days. So it is a binomial situation. So I'll introduce my binomial. X belongs to binomial, where n is seven days in a week, comma, 0 0.7 for success. And so I am looking for expected value. Using our formula, I can say that my n is 7 and my p is 0 0.7. So my expected value is Annabelle will solve 4.9 puzzles per week. My variance is just 7 times 0 0.7 times 1 minus p is 0 0.3. This is the variance, so the standard deviation is going to be the square root of this value. So if I find that value, if I want to do the standard deviation, let me do this. Standard deviation. Standard deviation is the square root of that. And so if I do that, 7 times 0 0.7, 1.212. So I see 1.21 to three significant figures. Okay, B part now. It says, find the probability that she successfully solves at least four puzzles in a given week. So now I want to find the probability that X is at least four bigger than or equal to four. So if I think about it, that means I want to find the probability that she does four plus the probability that she does five plus the sixth one plus the seventh one and add them all up. I could also do one minus the probability of no puzzles and one puzzle solved, two puzzles and three puzzles. I could do this one as well. Well, I'm going to do my calculator for this. My calculator only thinks cumulatively starting at zero. So I'm going to do one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to three. And so using my calculator, I'm going to go one minus, go into distributions, do my binomial distribution. Now I'm going to do cumulative. So I know if there are seven trials, I am there for 0.7 success, and my x value I want it to be less than or equal to 3. Enter. And I get 0 0.87, 0 0.874 to three significant figures. And so I used binomial CDF is the command I use. Cumulative, so I add them all up starting at 0. C part then says, if we look at our problem, Bring this down. Here is C part. It says, find the problem that she successfully solves at least two puzzles, but no more than five. So that then is saying, I want at least two, so two. No more than five. No more than five means I could be five. I'm looking for this range of puzzles. And so again, I could add probably of two, three, four, and five. Or I could also do the probability that x is less than or equal to five minus the probability of x being less than or equal to one. Not two, but one. And then use my calculator to do this. So I'm going to do second distributions up to binomial, CDF, 
Um, those are all good. I'm going to go up to 5. Minus the binomial. And this one is going to be up to 1. And so I get 0 0.6667. 0 0.667 is what I get when I do that. And that will do all the values in between here. D. She successfully solves a problem the first day of the holiday. This happened already. What is a probability that she solves at least another three during the rest of that week? Well, during the rest of the week means we have six days. So we have a new distribution. I'm going to call this y. And it's still binomial, but n is now six. The probability is still success. And so what I want to do then is find this probability. I want to find out that she solves at least another three. So I want to find the probability that y is bigger than or equal to 3. Well, that's the same thing as saying 1 minus the probability that y is less than or equal to 2. So I'm going to go through and calculate that. 1 minus, find the binomial, uh, this trial is 6 though now. And the x value is 2. Enter 0 0.920, 0 0.930. Now, as I do this on the calculator, you should be pausing this and doing these strokes yourself. In order to get proficient at doing your calculator, you have to practice it. All right, continue along. Find the problem that she successfully solves four or less puzzles in only one of the four weeks. All right, so there's two things going on here. We want to find out the probability she has four or less puzzles in only one of the four weeks. So maybe that happens in the first week. The second week, she can't do it. So in order to solve this problem, we need to first find the probability that she gets four or less puzzles. Well, once I have that, if I go back to my calculator, And I'm back to seven days in a week, four or less. And I get 0 0.353. Now, I'm going to take this value because I'm going to use it again. I'm going to store it into alpha A. I like to use A a lot. So that's the probability that she gets four or less puzzles in one week. But now I have four weeks. So now I have a new binomial situation. And so I'm going to call this W belongs to tilde, which is binomial. I have four weeks. My probability of success is 0 0.353. And I am looking for the probability that W is equal to 1. Only one of the weeks. So, now that I have my new distribution, I can go to my calculator, go to my variables, go to binomial. This was a PDF because I want a specific one. I have four weeks. My A is my probability. And I'm looking at one in there. And so my probability is 0 0.382, 0 0.382. Okay, now we have one more to go. Annabelle keeps track of her success and loses after n days has been determined she has won exactly 12 times. So she keeps on going now. So we have a new one again, so we'll call it A for Annabelle. I don't know how many days she's gone for, but the, pro but the probability of her winning, um, 
she's still 0 0.7 and I'm looking for the probability that a is equal to 12 equals 0 0.208 and I want to find n I don't know how many trials she's had well I could say n choose 12 0 0.8 to the 12 then 0 0.2 to the n minus 12 is equal to 0 0.208 that would work and then I could use my calculator to solve for n but I could also do this if I go to my graph oh, to y equals sorry and I change these binomial PDFs now I think it's PDF it's exactly so it's PDF I'm gonna make this X this is one I don't know my success is 7 and I'm gonna do it 12 times if I graph I don't see anything so I'm gonna to go to the table and when I go to the table now if I think about this 12 it has to start near 12 I can't have less than 12 trials so I'm going to change my table format my second table set and let's start at 12 we'll go by ones and then we'll go to second table and we're looking for 2.08 and that is 17 so I can say n is equal to 17 using our calculator to get this value.